Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about something super boring and unsexy, but also very important and practical. I'm talking about patch cables. I've got three of my favorites here. I've got the Hosa Super Slim Pancake Plug. I've got the Boss Solderless Kit here, and I've got the Sinusoid Sliver Soldered Patch Cable. I'm gonna go through each one and talk about what features I like about them. You might find other cables on the market that share these features, so this might be useful to you for brands outside of what I'm covering. But these are just the ones that I like. I use these quite a bit, uh, and they make my life easier. I mean, you get yourself bad patch cables, they make your life harder. So inversely, good patch cables must make your life easier, right? So let's get into it. I wanna talk about this Hosa Super Slim guy first. You might think it looks like a regular pancake plug, but it's not because here is a regular pancake plug. Look at how much thicker it is compared to the Hosa Super Slim thing here. I don't even know if the model is called Super Slim. That's just what I'm calling it. Um, I love these things. The, the size is just so convenient. You can stick them between two pedals and literally they take up less room than the power plug does. Here I've got a right angle power plug between these two pedals. Get focus here. The power plug impacts between the two pedals before the pancake jacks do. That's how slim these things are. That wouldn't be the case with this standard pancake plug here. I'll throw it in there just to prove it. Yeah, the standard pancake plug and that power jack is floating out there. So maximum pedals on your board, these pancake plugs are the way to go. They also have the benefit that all pancake plugs have, which I super adore, is that it's just two screws. You take the back off if you ever need to repair one of these or throw some longer cable in there or shorter cable. It's super easy to do if you know how to solder. And if you don't know how to solder, you should learn how to solder. It's a really important skill to have, especially if you love playing around with electric guitar stuff. You don't have to build a pedal or an amp, but maybe you wanna change out pickups or something like that. Learn how to solder, it's not hard. So anyways, another reason I love these is that the cable itself is just super flexible. It's not, if you're like me and you're always putting pedals on a table or an unvelcroed surface, the cable's not taut enough to push your pedals apart or move them around on your surface. It'll just sit there. It's not gonna push yourself out of alignment or anything like that uh, the way, say, like this big, fat, stiff cable would. I put this between two pedals and you see they're drifting. I can't really put them together without them pushing apart, which isn't fun for me having to do, you know, presentations of pedals on tables and whatnot. Um, a downside to any pancake plugged cable is that there are some pedals, not this Matthews chemist here, but there are some pedals where if you put pancakes up on the top, it doesn't leave enough space for your power plugs. Like I said, not the case with this Matthews here, but I have experiences with various <laughs> pedals over the years. I'm not gonna name names because that would be rude of me, but it's a reason to not keep just exclusive pancake plugs in your lineup. You should have some other plugs around just in case. Let's talk about these solderless plugs because these would work in that sort of scenario. They're so slim on the end that there's plenty of room for any kind of power jack there. I never really messed around with solderless plugs until a year and a half ago when I went to my first TGU and Boss gave me a pack of these. And I gotta say, I'm really impressed with them. I haven't tried any other solderless cables, but these do it for me. I haven't had any of the issues that many people complain about with solderless cables of them just not working or going out. To me, it's easy. Uh, and it's great that it comes with so much cable. The, this kit comes with 25 feet of cable, which means that you can do some really long runs with this kit. 
uh, which is convenient for me because I'm putting together like recording rigs where I've got like two and three feet of cable going from a recorder to a pedal board. And then I need like six feet of cable here or there, or I need like an inch of cable somewhere else. Being able to cut my own lengths is super, super convenient and it's easy to do. You literally just trim off the end with a pair of scissors to get a fresh cut on there. Let's see how in focus I can get. I think that's gonna be it. And then you have this raw end here. I like to use my thumb to make sure that none of the outside uh, wire is coming in contact with the inner core. Give a nice visual check. Then all you do is you take the plug, you push it on, get it in there nice and firm. I give it a little bit of a twist and then you drop a screw in there and tighten it with the screwdriver it comes with. I mean, you can use any screwdriver, but it comes with a screwdriver, which is nice. You do that on both sides, you can put together a patch cable in like a minute, the exact like that you want. Um, I've out of probably a dozen of these, I've only ever put together a cable that didn't work right away. I just pulled it apart. I trimmed the ends again. I tried again. A minute later, I've got a work, working patch cable. I've never had one fail on me on my pedal board. And I'm someone who's swapping pedals all the time on my pedal board because I'm trying so much stuff and you know, you know, trying stuff out so that I can demo it a week or two later. So I think for me, I think it's a good endorsement for trying out some solderless. Like I said, these are the boss ones. I have a feeling that they're very close in design to many other solderless cables out there. So, you know, shop around, see what people are saying, but I like these, I'll continue to use them. Next up is the sinusoid sliver. Just the smallest little soldered cable on the market, as far as I'm aware. Maybe someone else out there has a new one out that's smaller, but I haven't heard of it. Really high quality cable with these. I have a feeling with these two, people who are nuts about you know cable quality and passing the truest signal will have things to say about them. This uses a real deal beefy cable on here that I'm sure has a really nice rating to it. Um, the fact that it's soldered means that right the the fact that it's soldered means that the reliability is going to be there. Um, I've never had one of these go out on me. I've got I think like six or seven of them around of various different lengths. When I'm looking for something that I know is going to be bulletproof and look really good, this is what I grab. I like to use these in demos a lot. It does have the downside of the cable being pretty stiff. This is one where if your pedals aren't Velcroed down, it will likely push them apart. Um, it's also harder to you know, give it a coil and you know, stuff it between pedals and things like that. But if you're looking for a high quality, low profile option, I think the slivers are pretty dang great. Let's talk about prices. These are the cheapest of the bunch, these Hosa pancakes. Uh, I think you can get six of them for like 22 bucks, something like that, 20 bucks, 22 bucks, somewhere in that range, depending on what's going on on Amazon that day. Uh, next up, I don't know, well, let's do the math real quick. A pack of, geez, let's look at my phone. Um, a pack that will make six of these cables is $90. What's the math on that? It's just, it's over 10 bucks per cable for the Boss solderless. Uh, these slivers, let me pull up the screen grab. The slivers, you can get a four pack of them for 75 bucks. So that's more than these. That's nearly 20 bucks per cable. But this is a super beefy high-end cable. This is a super thin, flexible cable that probably doesn't have the same rating. Uh, but you know, this is a high quality solderless cable, but for sure, this is the cheapest of the bunch at uh, six for 20 bucks. What's the, what's the math on that? I'll flash the math up there. I don't wanna do it in my head right now. I always forget how to think when I'm on camera. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, these are three cables I use all the time. They've never failed me. If, I, if they did fail me, I'd let you know. <laughs> I've never thrown one of these in the trash and had to start over with a different brand. When I was young and dumb, I bought the cheapest patch cables I could and I'd get all these you know plasticky things. Uh, I had issues with a grouping of patch cables I got where the actual plug 
was different lengths on each plug and it wouldn't fit all the way into certain pedals or it would uh, not make contact with certain pedals. And I ended up having to throw away like half of them. And then over the years, the ones that were left kept failing on me and it was more expensive to get the cheap plugs than it is just to get halfway decent plugs. Only halfway decent. Start it halfway and you're gonna be doing a lot better, let alone some really good plugs. So let me know if you have any questions. If you have suggestions for other brands, uh, other models, make them in the comments down below. Otherwise, check out my Amazon links. They are affiliate links uh, or, you know, links to Sinusoid. I don't have an affiliate link for those guys. Maybe they sell on Reverb or something like that. I'll find something. Um, but yeah, click those links if you want to put a little money in my pocket. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me your nasty comments, support us on Patreon, blah, 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 you know, the whole drill. And, uh, you know, smash that bell so you get notifications when I launch videos. I like to do the premieres so that I get to chat with everyone as the video is premiering and it's a bunch of fun. We just chew the fat and uh, talk a lot of nonsense while the video is going. And it's a great like community building thing. I love hanging out with everyone in the chat section there. So smash that bell. That's the reason to do it because I want to hang out with you and chat with you. All right. Bye, everyone. Stay grounded.